On the day that you became an American citizen, what were you feeling? What was that day like? Oh, 18 years in the making. I had waited 18 years. Um, I tried to record the experience a little bit. And, and for me, I hearkened back to all the prayers, the hundreds and thousands of prayers I'd said over 18 years saying, asking God for an opportunity to be able to remain here permanently and to have all the shackles, proverbial immigration shackles removed. <laughs> and, and for me, that day was the culmination of that dream. Um, the knowledge that I was now part of this idea, the idea of America, the foundation of which I believe is responsible for the enlightenment that we see in the world. And I know a lot of people are going to watch this or listen to this. And some people are going to say, he's just naive. He doesn't really understand how crazy this world is or how crazy America is. And I get that. And I know people are disillusioned. I know people have lost faith in the dream. I know people you know, feel like the dream is no longer for them. But like I said, I believe I'm seeing clearly when I say that this is the land of opportunity. This is the place where you can come from nothing and dare to dream and have that dream come true. Like this is the place, I don't know any other place on earth where you could go and say, I have nothing and have the potential to have everything, right? To, to burst beyond your, your, your personal limits. This is not just about feeding yourself and your family. This is the place where whatever your dream is, it is possible to achieve. And, and I hope that, you know, as I, as I continue to share this message, that this doesn't remain a dream for people. I think at the end of the day, any dream will remain a dream if enough people don't see that dream translated into reality. And so we need to be building avenues and channels and ways for people to actually see their dreams come true. And it starts by first understanding the principles that make this possible. Principles of freedom, the free market, you know, principles of innovation, entrepreneurship, the principles of, you know, honesty and trustworthiness. All those things are necessary and need to be intertwined in creating the kind of society that allows people to turn dreams into reality. And we need people who have influence to champion those principles and values.